Hi, this is your teacher, Paul. Six years ago, I planted this cherry tree, and now I'm going to make a cherry pie. These cherries are ripe and ready to be picked. First, make the dough for the pie crust. A crust is the thing that holds the filling. The filling is the inside of the pie. For the pie crust, you'll need two cups of flour. This is about the size of a cup. Three quarters cup of shortening one quarter cup of butter, half a cup of water, and some salt, about a teaspoon of salt. This is a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon. Three teaspoons are equal to one tablespoon. Put two cups of flour into a bowl. Add one teaspoon of salt to the flour and mix the flour and the salt together. I'm using a whisk to mix the flour and the salt. This is about three quarters of a cup of shortening. This is one quarter cup of butter. Add the shortening and the butter to the flour. And stir in the shortening and the butter. I usually use a spoon and a pastry cutter to mix the flour with the shortening and the butter. Next, I'll mix in a half cup of cold water. If it's too sticky, add in extra flour. And then you can knead the dough with your hands. I'm kneading the dough. Form the dough into a ball. Cover it with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour. To make the filling for the pie, use about two cups of cherries. These still need to be pitted. One cup of sugar, just regular white sugar. Three tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of butter, and a quarter teaspoon of almond extract for flavoring. My tree produces these cherries. These are sour cherries. These are sweet cherries, or Bing cherries. I'm going to rinse the cherries in a colander. 
and then I'm going to take the pits out of each of these cherries. To remove the pit, you can sometimes pull on the stem and squeeze the cherry at the same time. Or sometimes I need to just cut the cherry in half and remove the pit with my fingers. This takes a very long time. I'm pitting the cherries or I'm removing the pits. The pit is the seed of the cherry. It looks like this, but you can't eat it. So I'm squeezing the cherry and pulling on the stem at the same time to remove the pit. I have two cups of pitted cherries. I'm going to put these into the saucepan and then add one cup of sugar. It looks like a lot of sugar. And then three tablespoons of the cornstarch. And then I'll mix this together and let it stand for about 10 minutes. After the juices come out of the cherries, this takes about 10 minutes. Turn on the heat and bring the mixture to a boil. When the cherries begin to boil, turn down the heat and let this simmer for about a minute. Keep stirring so that the cherries don't burn. Remove the cherries from the burner. Then add in a quarter teaspoon of the almond extract. and one tablespoon of butter. Let this cool before adding it to the pie crust. It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes for this to cool. As the filling for the pie is cooling, I'm gonna make the pie crust. First, we'll make the bottom half of the crust and I'm going to cut the dough in half. This is the bread dough that I put into the refrigerator about an hour ago. And then I'll roll this out with a rolling pin. The dough will go into a pie plate. This is the bottom half of the crust. Until I'm ready to use this, I'm going to put the bottom half of the crust in the refrigerator. 
Now I'm gonna make the top half of the crust. Now we're ready to put the pie together. Here's the bottom half of the crust. It's in a pie plate. The filling goes into the bottom half of the pie crust. And then the top half of the crust can go on. I have this on a plate because it's easier to put this onto the top by doing this. This is So I just put this on top. And then trim off the extra pie crust. I'm trimming the, the dough, the extra dough that's hanging off the side. After forming the top half of the pie crust, I'm going to glaze it with an egg. I'm using a pastry brush to brush the egg onto the top of the crust. It's necessary to put the pie plate onto a baking pan and cover it with aluminum foil because the cherry juice sometimes spills out over the side of the pie when it's baking. The pie goes into a preheated oven. This is preheated to 375 degrees. And then I'll set the timer for 45 minutes. It's been almost 45 minutes and the pie is ready to come out of the oven. As you can see, some cherry juice spilled out over the side of the pie. That's why I put the aluminum foil underneath the pie plate. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Would you like a piece of pie?